Now in the first video about switches, we used the SPDT switch um, to be able to send power to either of two different accessories. Um, I'm going to show you an even different use for the SPDT switch, uh, which is where they really shine. And it's important to understand this function of the switch um, before we go to the relays video. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the SPDT switch in this example to connect two different things to the same accessory. Now, how we're going to do that is we're going to connect to the common, which is the center. We're going to connect that wire to the actual accessory, and then we're going to connect two different sources of power to the outside terminals that are normally closed and normally open. Uh, very simple. So let's do it. Um, this is the common. We'll connect it to these two lights. And then we're going to connect just power to the first input of the switch, which will be this wire. So now when the switch is in that position, the two lights are just powered up. Now we're going to connect the flasher to the other side of the switch, and we're going to connect its power input to the flasher and we'll connect the output of the flasher to the other side of the SPDT switch. So now when I throw the switch to the other position, the lights flash. So this is why these switches don't have inputs and outputs per se. They are called common, normally open, and normally closed. And there's a reason for that, because they are not outputs, and they are not inputs. They can be either. So in this case, we've got the same accessory connected either to constant power or to flashing power, where in the last example, we just simply had power directed to either of the two lights. So that's it for this one, and uh, we'll see you soon on Relays.